new figo staging understood doctor very important and you people are most neglect this topic and i am going to make this new figo staging of cancer suffix in very simple and you can easily remember yes at the end of this class no definitely you will say yes sir you taught new figo staging in very simpler words now first point doctor this new figo staging has came in december 2018 2018 before 2018 that is until 2018 it is clinical staging please make a note of it it is clinical staging with a set of certain investigation with a set of certain investigations understood no only we set of certain investigation we used to stage this cancer cervix in 2018 there's a sudden dramatic change what is that that is the figo gynec oncology committee permits the use of two things for the staging of cancer cervix understood those two things were not used before 2018 from 2018 only we are using what is that we can use imaging modalities please make a note of it we can use imaging modalities like ct yes mri pet scan we can use imaging modalities like ct mri pet scan and we can also use doctor pathological modalities we can also use pathological modalities like biopsies for assigning the staging for upgrading the staging we can use ct mri pet scan and also pathological modalities like biopsy and we can also use minimally invasive surgery please make a note of it we can also use minimally invasive surgery like laparoscopy yes we can also use laparoscopy for assigning the staging for assigning the staging but we are not supposed to use this imaging modalities or pathological modalities or minimally invasive surgeries for staging before 2018 and so old staging won't recommend this but new staging definitely recommend this yes now doctor we'll proceed to the new figo staging doctor just i draw one line diagram i request everyone to draw this line diagram very very important so to know the staging of the cancer cervix dear doctors look into this so you should remember two to three things regarding the figo staging this is a parametrium doctor parametrium is nothing but dear doctors parametrium is nothing but it's a tissues surrounding the uterus but mainly two ligaments you should remember for the sake of exam parametrium is two ligaments one is uterosacral ligament yes and another one mckenrods mckenrods ligament parametrium means uterosacral and mckenrods now doctor upper two third vagina always related to parametrium please make a note of it so this is the upper two third vagina doctor yes i written already you can look into this upper two third vagina always related to what doctor parametrium lower one third vagina always related to pelvic side wall pelvic side wall nothing but lateral pelvic wall lateral pelvic wall okay and this are all the pelvic lymph nodes this are all the pelvic lymph nodes yes this is also pelvic lymph nodes and this are all para aortic lymph nodes this are all para aortic lymph nodes and this are all inguinal lymph nodes inguinal lymph nodes inguinal lymph nodes and this is ureter is it clear doctor you should remember parametrium is two ligaments one is uterosacral and mckenrods upper two third vagina is related to parametrium lower one third vagina yes related to what doctor pelvic side wall now doctor just i will go to the figo staging doctor stage 1 stage 1 yes it is confined to cervix only cervix stage 1 stage 2 yes it is upper two third vagina upper two third vagina stage 3 yes lower one third vagina and stage 4 metastasis very simple one is cervix two is upper two third yes three is lower one third i will going to sub staging of the staging doctor this stage one is confined to cervix it has got one a one b i will discuss upper two third is related to what doctor yes parametrium if it is only upper two third not involving the parametrium is 2a 
yes only upper to third not involving the parametrium is 2a and if it involves medial parametrium that is the parametrium not up to the pelvic wall parametrium not up to the pelvic wall that is 2b 2b and doctor lower one third always related to what doctor pelvic side wall if it involves only lower one third vagina is 3a no pelvic side wall involvement is what doctor 3a if pelvic side wall involvement is there pelvic side wall involvement is there it is 3b 3b 3a is only lower one third and 3a is only lower one third 3b is with pelvic side wall and if there are pelvic lymph nodes are involved yes definitely it is 3c and paraiotic lymph nodes also definitely it is 3c and doctor what is the important structure going in the pelvic side wall doctor ureter whenever pelvic side wall is involved definitely ureter is involved that is ureter involvement means definitely definitely 3b definitely 3b yes yes and doctor inguinal lymph nodes it is a stage 4 that is a distant metastasis that is distant metastasis means 4b 4b i think this is roughly clear understood no? one is cervix two is upper two third with or without parametrium three is lower one third with or without pelvic side wall and four is metastasis and so in the exam they won't ask you 3a 3b 3c they will ask you 1 2 3 4 that's all gross staging you should remember like that and only upper two third is 2a so, uh, only upper two third is 2a and 2b is the parametrium not up to the pelvic wall. Only lower one third is 3a that is without pelvic side wall. If pelvic side wall is involved, 3b. Understood? Now, what is the important structure going in the pelvic side wall, doctor? Yes, ureter, ureter. Pelvic and parietic, they are all 3c, 3c lymph nodes. Understood, doctor? If you remember this, just I can show you this. Doctor, look into this. Yes. So, this is stage 2. This is stage 2. Yes, you can see this. Doctor, this is stage 2. Yes. And doctor, and this is the, what doctor, this is the stage 3. That is lateral parametrium and pelvic side wall and lower one third vagina. This is stage 3. Yes. And this is stage 2. Stage 2, stage 3. Now, we will go to the sub-staging also. Look into this slide, doctor. Stage 1, doctor, stage 1, yes, it is confined to cervix. Stage 1, it is confined to cervix. Stage 2 means what, doctor, I told you? Yes, upper two-third vagina, upper two-third vagina. Stage 3, yes, it is lower one-third vagina, lower one-third vagina. And stage 4, dear doctor, metastasis, metastasis, metastasis. Now, we will come to the gross staging. Stage 1 is 1A, 1B. 1A is, doctor, microscopically, microscopically, that is millimeters. So, 1B means clinically visible, macroscopically, clinically visible, macroscopically, that is centimeters. Now, 1A is once again divided to 1A1 and 1A2. 1B is once again divided to 1B1, 1B2, 1B3. Doctor, 1A1. Doctor, 1A1, that is, what is this 1A1? That is size of the lesion, dear doctor, less than 3 millimeters. Please make a note of it. Size of the lesion, less than 3 millimeters. 1A1, less than 3 millimeters. Yes, that is a one thing. Understood? Next, here 1A2, more than or equal to 3 millimeters, but less than 5 millimeters. But less than 5 millimeters. 1A1 is less than 3 millimeters, 1A2 is more than or equal to 3 millimeters, but less than what doctor? 5 millimeters. And doctor, this is the what doctor look into this. Now, uh, that is 1A, 1A1 and 1A2. In 1A1 and 1A2 in old staging, there is width of the lesion. Width of the lesion. This width of the lesion is removed in 1A. Please make a note of it. Very important. What is the change done from old to new figo? In 1A, there is width of the lesion. Understood? No? Only the depth was included. So, depth, how much is the depth in 1A? Less than 3 millimeters. In 1A, 2. How much is the depth of the lesion? More than or equal to 3 millimeters, but less than 5 millimeters. What was removed? Width of the lesion was removed. In 1, B, once again divide into 1B1, 1B2, 1B3. 1B1 is more than or equal to 5 millimeters, but less than 2 centimeters. And 1B2 is 2 to 4 centimeters. And 1B3 more than or equal to 4 centimeters. Doctor, this 1B3 newly added. Please make a note of it. 1B3 newly added. 
understood so in 1b 1b3 is newly added in 1a horizontal extension that is width of the lesion was removed now doctor come to stage 2 i told you upper two third 2a means only upper two third 2a means only upper two third yes and 2b dear doctor i told you 2b it is the parametrium not up to pelvic wall it is the parametrium please make a note of it just take it as a medial parametrium yes yes now doctor this 2a is once again divided into 2a1 and 2a2 2a1 is less than 4 centimeters 2a2 is more than or equal to 4 centimeters more than or equal to 4 centimeters yes this is about stage 2 come to stage 3 here yeah, doctor stage 3 i told you it is lower one third it is divided into 3a 3b 3c 3a is only lower one third only lower one third 3a is only lower one third no pelvic side wall but 3b is doctor 3b is yes Pelvic side wall is involved. Pelvic side wall is involved. Pelvic side wall. What is the important structure going in the pelvic side wall, doctor? Yes, ureter. Ureter. Whenever the ureter involvement will be there, what all the features of ureter involvement? Hydro ureteronephrosis and non functioning kidney. Hydro ureteronephrosis and non functioning kidney. Yes, yes. And 3C, yes. It is lymph nodes positive, lymph nodes positive. One second, what all the lymph nodes positive? So, that is why it is divided into 3C1 and 3C2. So, 3C1, dear doctor, 3C1 means yes, pelvic lymph nodes, yes. And 3C2 is para-aortic lymph nodes, para-aortic lymph nodes. You got a point, 3C is divided into 3C1 and 3C2. 3C1 is pelvic lymph nodes, 3C2 is para-aortic lymph nodes. Now, once again, doctor, this nodal involvement, yes, can be divided as 3C1R and 3C1P. What is this 3C1R and 3C1P? That is nodal involvement identified by radiological investigations like CT, MRI, PET scan. Yes. That is the one thing and also by pathological modalities, pathological modalities like biopsy. Understood? 3C1 is you will do 3C1R and 3C1P. R means radiology, P means pathology. And doctor, stage 4 is metastasis. 4A is regional metastasis. 4B means distant metastasis. Distant metastasis. Okay, regional metastasis means doctor, bowel bladder bowel bladder distant metastasis means inguinal lymph nodes and even lungs even lungs inguinal lymph nodes and even lungs yes this is overall view of new figo staging of carcinoma cervix this is overall view of new figo staging of what carcinoma cervix now doctor look into this golden point Bullous edema of bladder, it was a Central Institute uh, exam question. If there is a bullous edema of the bladder, what stage, doctor? Can anyone tell me what stage this bullous edema of the bladder uh, will belongs to? Bladder means 4A. It is 4A? No, doctor, it is not 4A. Please make a note of it. It is not 4A. It is 3B. Dear doctor, bullous edema of bladder is due to ureteric involvement. Bullous edema of bladder is due to ureteric involvement. Please put a golden box. MCQ, million dollar MCQ. Yes. So, bullous edema of bladder, it is not 4A, it is 3B. It is ureteric involvement, ureteric involvement. And doctor, another important change which is done from old to new. Doctor, until December 2018, even USG also can be used for FIGO staging. But in the present staging, USG used only to plan treatment, not for staging. USG used only to plan treatment, not for staging, not for staging. Yes, yes doctors, that is a one important million dollar MCQ which has done from old to new 
and another one lymphovascular space invasion always changes the staging always changes the staging but not treatment plan but not treatment plan please make a note of it always changes the staging but not treatment plan these are the three things you should remember which is updated from the new editions of both ops and gynec yes